So before you begin any experiment, you need to make sure you have your safety gear. So today we're wearing our goggles to protect our eyes. We're also wearing gloves to protect our hands and our lab coats. And if you don't have a lab coat at home, you can always wear like a really baggy shirt you don't care about or just something to keep your body and your clothes protected. Stay safe. So today we're gonna to be doing an elephant toothpaste experiment where we use hydrogen peroxide, yeast, and food dye. So first, we begin by pouring our hydrogen peroxide into a safe container. Today we're using a beaker. Okay. Next, we're gonna add some food coloring. Okay, today we'll do blue to blue. our Ooh. coats. And if you don't have food dye at home, this step is purely optional. We just think it's fun, makes the toothpaste a little bit more colorful. All right, here comes the fun part. So as you guys can see, this beaker is starting to foam up, and that is because when you mix hydrogen peroxide and yeast, the yeast is acting as what we call a catalyst which speeds up a chemical reaction. And in this case, it's speeding up the degradation of hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen gas. And that's why we see the foaming and the bubbles in the container. Uh, reminder kids, this is just elephant toothpaste. Don't actually try to eat this, even though it looks super yummy. Um, it is not good for yourselves. This is just a science experiment. So now we're looking up closer at the reaction and you see that after a few minutes, it's beginning to foam up a little bit more and it's reached its, its peak reaction. So we see a lot more foaming and bubbles in our container. Next, we're gonna do a DIY lava lamp. For this experiment, you'll need some oil. We're using canola oil today. Adding that to our beaker first. And next, we're going to add some water. It's just regular old tap water. And we're also going to add some food dye again to make it fun. So let's use... We'll do red. We'll do red this time. All right, and we're gonna mix this up. Get that nice red dye everywhere. Start sticking to the oil. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna show you a close up before we add our antacid tablets with just the water and the oil and the food dye. And you'll be able to see that the water and the oil don't like each other very much. They seem to be separating out from each other. And that's because water is what we call hydrophilic, meaning it likes itself. It really likes other water particles. And we also have oil, which is called hydrophobic. That's because it contains a lot of carbon, so it doesn't like teaming up with water very much. So as you see more closely, this is what we call the hydrophobic and hydrophilic interaction. And that's why the water and the food dye form these little bubbles towards the bottom because they don't like to team up and interact with the hydrophobic uh, oil. Next, we're gonna add an antacid tablet this is going to release CO2 gas and really show us that hydrophobic and hydrophilic effect. Oh, it's starting to bubble. See, and that's the CO2 being released from the antacid tablet. See, it looks like its own little lava lamp. Okay guys, your last step now is to clean up these fun science experiments. So both of these are safe to go down the drain, but do it with your parents' permission. And if you have a designated waste bin, then put it there.
So we have our lava lamp that we're going to take to our designated sink and we can just pour it down. Now our elephant toothpaste. All right, we're gonna make sure to rinse these out and wash them really well before we use them again. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, welcome back. So as you can see, we have now our two clean flasks. Um, thank you for joining us for our elephant toothpaste and our lava lamp experiments. I hope you have a lot of fun doing them in your home. Remember, be safe, have a parent's permission, and always wear your protective gear.